we will be creating the ultimate Roblox Blade Ball tier list. As you can see, we have 30 Blade Ball abilities. And I chose some of the best abilities in the game to add in here. And guys, please do not get mad at me. Everybody has their own opinions, but in my opinion, this is the ultimate tier list. So the first ability on the list is the dash ability, boys. This is known as the worst ability in the game. So we're gonna put this at the S tier. I'm just kidding, boys. This is obviously going on F. This ability is known for new and everybody that's a noob and just start blade ball usually uses this ability and we're not even gonna go in order guys i'm gonna just pick from anywhere on this list the next ability we have in line is the singularity ability boys this ability is probably my favorite ability in all of blade ball with this ability it's literally paying to win you don't even have to be good at the game and it's just free wins you use the ability and blade ball takes over with this ability if you guys don't know what this ability does then you guys can watch the video i did on it and i'll show you exactly how overpowered it really is but this guys i'm not gonna lie this is the first ability to go on the s tier level it's just that good the next ability we have on the list is the super jump ability and this is also a noob ability just like dash so this is automatically going on f tier guys and we have platform which is next and oh my gosh this is literally the ability that i used when i first started blade ball because everybody said dash was for noobs so i was like you know what let me use platform i thought i was so cool and good but bro seriously i I'm an idiot. Platform is an F tier type of ability. But the next ability on the list is freeze, guys. This ability actually is not as bad as everyone may think it is. This is a decent ability. I don't even know if I would put this in F tier, guys, because look, we have dash, super jump, and platform in F tier. And these are terrible abilities. But with freeze, if the ball is going super fast, it is actually quite smart to use this ability. So I'm not gonna lie, boys. I think I'm gonna put this in the C tier. Yeah, that's seems about right so the only ability in the s tier singularity so far and uh by far there's none in s a b and wait a second i just realized this is the s plus okay singularity is not s plus let's put this back on the s okay all right the next ability that we have on the list is force field ability guys this used to be my favorite ability for the longest this ability is still very good especially when you have it maxed out and i still sometimes use it to this day this is one of those abilities that can stop every single ability and as you guys can see i have singularity on s tier if you use force field against singularity force field will win every time but just in general i do not think force field is as good as singularity so we are going to put force field in the a tier the next ability on the list is pull this ability is super 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 good boys it is even good when people use singularity against you because if someone's using singularity when the ball circles around you use pull you can lay grab the ball from them it's crazy and you can fake your opponents out with pool pool is just an amazing ability and this is going to go exactly where force field is in the a tier the next ability on the list guys is the one the only swap ability boys as you guys know this is also a noob ability and guys listen if you use these abilities and you are winning it doesn't even matter if they're noob abilities okay if it works for you it works for you but this ability is just not an ability that i would use this ability is on the same level as dash super jump and platform because this is a free ability that anyone can use so we are going to put this on the f tier and oh my gosh baby look at this the next ability on the list is rapture boys this ability i actually really love this is an ability that can fake out your opponents and your opponents never know what's coming with this ability you shoot the ball up super high in the air and it's super fast and nobody expects it but is this ability as good as force field or pool boys i really don't think so so honestly i'm gonna put this ability under force field and pool because i just don't think you can get as many wins with rapture as you can get with force field and pool so i think that's a good decision this tier list is actually looking pretty good bro singularity at the top force field pool rapture freeze dash okay yeah this is looking very good very good if you guys disagree then you are a noob i'm not gonna lie okay and look at this baby this is an ability i actually love the next ability on the list boys is the infinity ability oh my goodness sakes boys i'm not gonna lie this this ability is actually overpowered. This is one of the most overpowered abilities that Blade Ball has ever created. If you have this ability, you have to at least have a thousand wins. I'm not gonna lie. This ability gets you instant wins, and it's so easy to kill so many people with this ability. And boys, this ability might either be better or on the same level as Singularity. I don't know. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do it, boys. Is it on S tier or S plus? Oh, uh, I'm not gonna lie. It's S plus. It's just too good. It's too overpowered. Okay, guys, for the next 
ability is Reaper. This ability is like one of those passive abilities. So it doesn't really get you kills instantly, like the Singularity ability or any other ability. But this ability, when you hit the ball, the ball speeds up like crazy. It's actually a pretty good ability, but honestly, boys, it's not that good. I'm going to put it in the same tier as Rapture. Because it's not as bad as Freeze, and it's obviously not as bad as Dash, Super Jump, Platform, or Swap. But oh my gosh, baby, we're on to the next ability, which is the Bunny Leap. This is actually one of the best abilities, boys. I'm not going to lie. When this ability came out during Easter, I was actually super happy. And look, look how cute it looks. It's just a little bunny. But boys, this ability, it's honestly a pretty quick decision. I don't even really have to think about this. This ability is going to go in the same tier as Force Field and Pool because it's a super good ability and you can instantly get kills with it, but it's not as good as Singularity and definitely not as good as Infinity. All right, you guys, we're on to the one, the only Dragon Spirit ability. Oh my gosh. This ability is actually one of the most pay to win abilities in this game if you have this ability you can win any game and most likely every game guys i don't even have this ability and i know the devs they told me that it's too good of an ability to give away for free guys i honestly thought there would only be one ability at the s plus tier but dragon spirit has to join infinity up there and we have two abilities right now on the s tier list oh my gosh the next ability is a new ability that they just released which is the chief Tain's totem boys this ability, honestly, I don't even want to talk much about it because it's honestly the same as Reaper. It just speeds the ball up and it's not that good. So honestly, I'm going to put this just in the B tier along with Reaper because it's basically the same thing. And the key charge, this is also basically the same thing. It just speeds up the ball super quick. So I'm not even going to discuss this ability that long because it just speeds the ball up and you can move around super fast and stuff like that. So that's going to go in the B tier as well. But oh my gosh, look what we have next, guys. We have the time hole ability. This ability is also one of my favorite abilities because it's lead just like force field and singularity guys i'm not gonna lie you can actually win any game against any ability with the time hole ability i beat people with infinity i beat people with dragon spirit because i grab the ball from them and i just wait until their ability runs out and then i just shoot the ball towards them so the guys this ability is not going to be as good as singularity but it will be in the same field as force field pool and bunny leaper i'm gonna put this ahead of all of them because it's better than all of them but the next ability which is also a new ability that came out the same day as chief Tain's totem is the slash of duality is duality i can't even say the word but oh my gosh guys this ability at first when i used this ability it did not seem that good but then i used it over and over and guys the ability is just insane you get kills instantly with this ability and you can take the ball from anyone you know what i'm gonna play a game right now with it to show you exactly what i mean so guys as you guys can see i have the slash of duality ability maxed out and let me show you what i mean when i say this ability is super good all right you guys so ball's not even coming towards me it's going towards somebody else now watch this boys i'm gonna use the ability give me one second i let somebody die now watch this i'm gonna use i'm gonna click dark and watch this i instantly get a kill i take the ball away from every opponent that's playing and i get to use my ability at first i did not know this when i used the ability for the first time and when i realized i realized this, that this ability might be one of the best in the world so let me just use it one more time if you guys didn't see it the first time all right so somebody just died let me hit the ball over to one of you guys or something to watch this i'm gonna use dark ability and watch i just got killed it's insane it's unstoppable now let me just win this game really quick oh my gosh boys i did not think this ability it was that good when i first used it but oh my gosh was i wrong i can already use it again so let's use it again dark watch this dead you can just get so many kills i can kill a whole lobby with this ability it's crazy boys but yeah guys i'm not gonna lie this ability is going with the s plus tier bro it's just too good as you guys just saw but the last ability on the list that i'm gonna do guys because these abilities i'm not gonna lie blank is f tier these are all just like free abilities that aren't that good so we're just gonna move these around really quick phantom will be c tier f tier super jump these are free abilities free abilities free abilities like these abilities just aren't that good guys so i'm I'm not even gonna go over these but the last ability that i'm going to do is the dribble ability this ability is so crazy it's really just like infinity and kind of reminds me of time while at the same time this ability will be joining singularity on the s tier i hope you guys enjoyed my tier list if you guys disagree or anything then you guys can fight me and play 